thanking you, uh, all of you, for inviting us on this uh, occasion. We are really glad today. Uh, the topic is agri entrepreneurship development through mushroom cultivation. So, uh, overcoming the challenges in mushroom industry was quite huge, and uh, uh, for that, I will just conclude uh, the oral presentation by giving my story and experience as a mushroom farmer. Basically, I also don't belong to any agri uh, sector, neither I completed uh, in agriculture. My education background was BTEC. I completed engineering. After that, I worked in a public sector bank as an assistant manager for at least three years. But somewhere in my heart, I always wanted it to do something potentially big for our social, economical, and environmental things. For that, I have chosen the path of agripreneurship. And it was not an accident that I chose mushroom. I researched thoroughly, and as per my uh, understanding, I found mushroom had, had the potential for everything because it had the potential for uh, changing the economy. I could have generated a lot of uh, agri entrepreneurs, uh, rural development. Also, the food value in mushroom is unlike anything. And as a new fa farmer, new agri I didn't have much uh, uh, capital. So, I started my journey with a small room. And in the small room, I started cutting paddy straw. And I took training from Tishi Pikan Kendra and UBKV. And I started my own mushroom farming. Yes, there were challenges. As uh, already discussed, discussed, the challenge of uh, awareness, the market problem. So that what I just embraced it. I uh, started door-to-door -door campaigning. I visited uh, hilly areas, northeastern areas, Bhutan. And I approached everyone who were there uh, and wanted to consume mushroom. I started my YouTube channel named BA Mushroom. Uh, now it is having uh, around 20,000 subscribers. And we started digital campaigning program. We held our stalls in Mela. So throughout that journey in last five years, I have been able to build a brand named BA Mushroom. Right now, it is a household brand. Everybody, whoever searches in Google, either they search for mushroom spawn or product or whatever, BM mushroom will definitely come in their search result. It is uh, the persistent hard work and effort uh, I have been putting through it. But yeah, we needed to do more. Like before COVID, we started uh, our processing unit. There we started manufacturing mushroom chow mein, pickles, sauce, etc. And uh, also I have uh, been selected as a mushroom uh, uh, entrepreneur and uh, from West Bengal successful farming entrepreneurship uh, in 2020 ICR uh, program there also I gave my uh, speech on this but still there was something lacking it was the ecosystem because alone I was not able to generate much more potential as was possible so then onwards I established with my friend and other stakeholders uh, I developed uh, our farmers production company named New Agrivers Farmers Production Company here we are working with cluster of small and medium farmers. We are trying to train because training was the basic lacking thing. And in our area also, farmers were only cultivating one variety like oyster. Then we started diversifying it into milky mushroom. And now we are also working on around 12 varieties of different mushrooms, which includes shiitake, lion's mane, ganoderma. Also further more pieces mushrooms like the Inoki mushroom, then cordyceps mushroom, we are also working on that. Right now, at our place, around 20 varieties of different mushroom strains and spawns are available. And we are also processing the mushrooms. So right now, our ecosystem uh, is working on in, uh, in a manner that we train our farmers in our farmer production company. It has more than now 1,000 farmers. And uh, around 10,000 farmers all across India have joined with us. They are taking regular training programs, either through online or physical mode. We are collaborating with government institutions, KVKs across India. And we are trying to just make them aware of cultivating process. And the rest of things are taking care at our centralized sector. There we are collecting the dry mushrooms, fresh mushrooms. We are turning it into processed food and marketing under our brand. So in that way, we are able to generate little bit of income. So it is an ongoing journey on which we are working. So our holistic approach is there. Uh, the technical guidance is there, modernization of mushroom seed production units are uh, necessary and we need a lot of more mushroom processing units and spawn producing units. So we are training our existing farmers uh, into developing into that. Uh, more market linkage facilities are important, advocating for policy support and incentives uh, for mushroom growers and entrepreneurs are required. So the call to action, what actually I am looking forward from here now is that we need collaborative effort. As here uh, among us, there are several different farmers and communities, teachers who are from different different fields. Let me uh, make it clear that mushroom is not different. Mushroom is along everything. Like whatever a farmer if he is growing paddy uh, paddy in his field, 
still he has the potential of developing mushroom farming because the paddy straw which he was burning it only causes uh, uh, what uh, loss of uh, agar of thing which can be converted into mushroom on our field which is right in raja ghat which we are we have been de developing mushroom on various agro product like last year we developed mushroom not only on paddy st uh, paddy straw also on the maize stalks the maize stalks which are often thrown in the garbage Uh, on hardwood soft uh, softwood all the uh, kind of woody materials also we have been successfully in generating mushroom on paper based so uh, this is the thing mushroom holds their potential for converting agricultural waste into huge economic opportunity for everyone it can generate into primary uh, skilled workforce it can uh, generate into secondary income source for the farmers as well as whoever is generating much any agricultural thing he will definitely produce agri agro based and where is waste there is potential for mushroom so here we have the facility for buying buying back of mushroom because as mushroom is in an nascent stage in india the main potential problem with everyone is okay we can grow mushroom but where to sell i uh, uh, that's why this is our contact number this is our website they can approach and collaborate with us uh, and we can make a mushroom a huge thing like uh, milk revolution had happened through amul we are trying to make a mushroom revolution through us we are be inviting all the potential stakeholders and individual farmers and communities to work together and develop an ecosystem so that everybody can get benefit of it because mushroom holds the potential not only for economic generation it can clean the environment and soil as well so i am concluding my speech now thank you uh, because of time constraint right, thank, thank you very much, much.